Francesco Caruan, also known as Buzzy or Buzz, was an Italian-American Gambino crime family associate, 1938-1975 Walpole, Massachusetts. He was a close friend of Thomas Agro and Peter Calabrese. Early life born in the Little Italy section of Manhattan, Carwan was nicknamed Buzz because of his violent temper. He joined the Gambino family as an associate, working under Caparigime Thomas Agro, and later Carmine Fatico, in the Bergen Hunt and Fish Club crew. He was involved in bank robbery and hijacking as a stick-up man. Carwan also trafficked small shipments of cocaine, marijuana and poilutes in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. His right eye was gouged or shot out, severing nerve endings and paralyzing facial muscles and giving the impression that half of his face was smiling. It is unclear how or who was responsible for Carwan losing his eye. As a result of the injury, he suffered from depth perception issues in the years following his accident. Fellow crew member Joseph Iannuzzi described Carwan before his disfigurement as a tall and handsome Italian. Car one suffered from narcissistic personality disorder, borderline personality disorder and antisocial personality disorder. After his disfigurement, Aaron E's condition was made worse by a severe case of post-traumatic stress disorder. Being put on the shelf Carwan was exiled from his crew and the Gambino family for robbing banks without Fatico's permission. Carwan now started robbing banks on his own. In May 1972 Federal Bureau of Investigation FBI Special Agents Patrick Colgan and Thomas D'Onofrio were looking for car one about a string of bank robberies in New York. A number of bank tellers implicated car one, describing him as bizarre looking man with one eye and a gun. One day the two agents spotted car one exiting an apartment building in Little Italy. Car one saw the agents and drove off. The FBI chased him at speeds up to 90 miles per hour, 140 kilometers per hour. As the agents approached children crossing at a crosswalk, they attempted to slow down, but their brakes failed. Car one sped away, but immediately plowed into a woman's car. When the agents got out of their car, a bystander told them that car one was hiding under the steering wheel in his vehicle. Almost immediately. Car 1 popped out and starting firing at the agents. In the confusion, Car 1 managed to escape. Angering the mob after the FBI shootout, FBI supervisor John Good approached Fatico and told him to give up Car 1. Fatico could not comply because Car 1 had fled to Boston. This caused a period of major FBI harassment brought on by Car 1 shooting at the FBI agents. Furious at the trouble that Car 1 had caused the Gambino family, Fatico put a contract on Car 1. Fatico allegedly offered to induct anyone who murdered Car 1 into the Gambino family. However, Car 1 remained a fugitive. He was also featured as a fugitive on the television program America's Most Wanted, but no one turned him in. Capture in Massachusetts in 1974, low on money, Car 1 robbed a bank in East Boston, Massachusetts in the Financial District, Boston, Massachusetts. However, a silent alarm went off and Massachusetts State Police troopers were soon chasing him. The troopers chased Car 1 into some nearby woods. One trooper, tiptoeing through some heavy underbrush, suddenly heard three loud clicks behind him. He turned with his gun drawn and saw Car 1 standing there, his gun pointed at the trooper's head. Car 1 was out of ammunition, however, as the trooper leveled his own gun at Car 1, Car 1 pleaded with the trooper, Do it. The trooper spared Karen E's life and arrested him. Time in prison Car 1 was sent to prison at Massachusetts Correctional Institution, Cedar Junction in Walpole, Massachusetts. Car 1 feared that he would be murdered by his former associates in the Gambino family, and so suffered from insomnia brought on by anxiety and chronic fatigue syndrome. In 1975, Car 1 died in prison of an undiagnosed supraventricular tachycardia brought on by hypertension, starvation, and malnourishment. References Joe Dogs
The Life and Crimes of a Gangster, by Joe Dogsy and Nutsi Gumbada, The Improbable Rise and Fall of John Gotti and His Gang, by John Cummings and Ernest Volkman.